Um, just a quick thing before we get started. Um, this is going to be a practice that if any of you that have taken my class before know, I kind of like to build movement patterns or small sequences throughout the course of my class. Um, and so what I'm going to teach you today is for the hips and the hamstrings, but it's a movement pattern that's low to the ground. It's super accessible. Um, but it's something that you can use sort of at any point in your practice. This is something that when I teach it at the beginning of the practice, you'll see it sort of creep up in the middle of the practice and then it comes back uh, in the end of the practice. And um, hopefully by adding these little movement practices or these little movement patterns into your practice, um, what I like to think of is, you know, when I'm cooking at home or when I'm thinking about my groceries, it's, you know, there's some of those essential things, right? Like I think about bananas, <laughs> avocados, um, just mixed fruit, mixed greens, mixed vegetables, rice. Um, it's sort of like if I have those things, right? Like I can sort of always make something that's healthy and delicious. And so that's what I like to think about with these movement patterns. And that's what I really want to give you. Um, it's just some of my, you know, absolute favorites. A lot of them are really accessible for any level. Um, you can dial it up, you can bring it down, depending on where you're at, not only in your experience, but your energy, your strength. Um, and it'll give you options to layer on. So ultimately you get enough of these movement patterns together, you can roll out your bat, and you'll just have something that you can always go to. Um, and these are things that feel good on my body. Um, and I just know are good to move ma major systems in the body, our major joints, our major muscle groups, places that we hold tension. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, for this practice, you don't need any blocks. Um, I would recommend if you have a thin mat, or if you're practicing on a hard floor, you can see I just put a blanket here because um, we will spend a lot of time on our knees. This is going to involve a lot of hands and knees to get started. So, um, but that's basically it. You can see I'm in my home studio here in San Diego. Really blessed to be able to practice outside. It's hot out today, so you're going to get to see me sweat a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll jump right into it. So I'm going to have um, you come into a hands and knees position, which we call tabletop. Um, and for this practice, I like to go a little bit further than the standard kind of stance where we have our hands underneath our shoulders, wrists underneath the shoulders. We're gonna take two steps forward with our hands, create about six to eight inches more of space. And then right when I start my practice, I just like to move a little bit organically. So let's take a moment to do that. If you're still setting up music or getting yourself ready to practice, you can catch up with us when you're ready. But I usually like to start moving my hips a little bit first. Hips are the heaviest part of the body. Right, so the more we kind of move the hips around, we're gonna explore where the weight comes, where the stretches come. Maybe you come a little bit forward, stretch those wrists, let the hips drop, stretch the back. A Little bit of seat to heels, like child's pose. If you wanna turn the hands a little bit, create more sensation in the hands and wrists, always nice. Give those wrists, those wrists do so much for us. Our hands do so much for us and we don't give them as much love in terms of stretching. But maybe you wanna turn the fingers all the way back intensify that stretch but still just finding some organic movement moving our hips doing a little bit of early movement in our shoulders just a couple more moments here maybe you really want to go for it with the wrists you turn the hands over oh that one's intense just kind of check in with how that feels and then when you're ready we're going to come back to that neutral tabletop position starting pretty standard with our cat and cow. So we're going to start by lifting our head, lifting our chin, lifting our chest, broadening across the collarbone. We engage the fingers down. And I like to think about pressing my belly towards the ground and lifting my tailbone up. So kind of like you're scooping out your lower back. We're just going to hold here for a second. Maybe take one good deep breath in. And then the next time you exhale, let's tuck the chin to the chest, drive the mat away almost the feeling like you're pulling your shoulder blades off your back so really get that stretch in the rhomboids I like to really hug my belly in now continue to drive the mat away chin to chest big rounding in the upper back let's stay here for a full breath in and a full breath out let's cycle back and forth inhale lift your heart lift your tail cow pose Exhale, chin to chest, round your back, cat pose. Take about five of those at your own pace. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we round back. And a few more, take your time. Let's make 
our next cycle our last so don't rush if you need a couple extra so really deliberate in this practice as you'll see so we're going to shift over to our left knee we're going to step our right foot out to the side create this little kickstand if you're like me especially a little workout yesterday with the hamstrings hamstrings are a bit sore we're going to feel an initial stretch just there right by stepping our foot out and kind of pacing our hips back and forth back and forth you might need a few more moments for that and now we're going to reincorporate those cats and cows so shifting the weight forward lift your heart lift your chin and then on an exhale chin to chest round your back and now you're going to tap your seat towards your left heel maybe you don't go as deep as me Inhale, rising back up, lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round your back. So it's a big movement. We round the back and then we tap. Nice long exhale. Few more on your own. Inhale, rise up. Hi, low. Exhale, chin to chest, round and tap. one more together. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now this time as you rise up, sweep your right leg behind you. Try to keep the hips nice and square. I like to flex the toes inward. Really feel that activation in the back of your leg. Right now we could do a few things here. We can hold here. We could come up on the fingertips of our left hand. We could pulse the right leg up a little bit, really wake it up if you're feeling some energy. If you're feeling really good, you can extend the left arm forward, maybe pulse the left arm, right leg. If you're here, let's do another five, four, three, two, one, and release. Hands and knees. Or shift right to the other side. So step your left foot out like a kickstand. And then again, just taking a little movement, a moment for a little organic movement. Just gentle back and forth with the hips. Fine, you're ready to reincorporate the breath. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back, and then tap your seat towards your heel. Inhale, we rise back up. Exhale, chin to chest. Use that whole exhale to tap back. A few more on your own. Let's say the next time you rise up, left leg sweeps back behind you. Again, the hips are square. Left toes pointed down, so you feel that flexion in your ankle, strong with your left leg. Maybe you come up on the right fingertips. Maybe you just pulse the left leg there. All right, if that feels good, you extend the right arm forward, and now maybe both the arm and the leg go up for another five, four, three, one and release hands and knees. Optional here, either sitting back in the child's pose for a little rest, or if you want to build more heat, come back up. We'll bend the elbow, scoop a little knees down, yogi push up. So maybe for five. Inhale up. Slowly down for four. Inhale up. Exhale down for three. Inhale up, exhale down for two, inhale up, last one, exhale down, inhale up, let's all meet back in child's pose, seat to heels, 
little bit of heat in the body, a little bit of activation in your shoulders, sway the hips from side to side. Let the arms stay stretched forward and just come back into the breath for a few deep cycles. As you're ready, we'll rise back up to hands and knees. Now we're gonna to start to string everything together. And there's no right or wrong with this. It's incorporating those simple movements that we just did, creating a little flow. So let's step our right foot out to the side. Inhale, lift the heart and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back, and then tap your seat towards your feet. Rising up, right leg goes back, left arm goes forward. One good breath here. Now as you release the left hand down, I'm gonna bend the elbows, do a little one-legged push-up. Inhale up. And then release the right knee down. Left leg steps out. Inhale, lift the heart and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round, and then tap. Rising up, left leg sweeps back, right arm sweeps forward, full breath in. And then as you exhale, hand down, one-legged push-up. Inhale up. And exhale, we're gonna go right back to the right leg. Right leg steps out. Lift the heart, lift the chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round and then tap back. As you rise up, right leg back, left arm forward. This time let's add a little elbow to knee, so squeeze to the center. Inhale, lengthen. And then left hand down, exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, up. And then release left side take your time step your left foot out lift your heart lift your chin exhale chin to chest round and then tap back rising up left leg back right arm forward elbow to knee and squeeze inhale lengthen hands down bend those elbows Inhale up, and then release. Let's go all the way around again. Right leg out, lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round your back, and tap. Rising up, right leg back, left arm forward, full breath in. And then that elbow to knee as you squeeze that exhale out. Inhale to lengthen. Left hand down, bend your elbows, exhale. Inhale back up. And release. Left side, left leg out. Lift your heart, lift your chin. Chin to chest, round your back, tap your seat to your heel. Rise up, smooth, sweep that left leg back, right arm forward, full breath in. Elbow to knee and squeeze to the center. Inhale, get all the way long, left leg back, right arm forward. And then hands down, bend the elbow. Inhale, press up. And exhale, release. Beautiful. Now let's turn to sit back on our heels. So we work a little bit of space now into our lower back. As you can tell, we didn't do a lot of back bending um, with that sequence. So something I like to do to warm up. Whether it's a prerequisite to your class, or these are just some of my favorite stretches to do every day. So um, we call this the dancing camel. Hat tip to Laughing Lotus in New York City. Um, we're going to take our right hand, step it back outside of our right ankle. 
can take it nice and slow. You're gonna use your right hand, either hand down, fingertips is a little bit easier. Start to lift your seat off your heels. And already you might be showing this intense stretch in your lower back on the left side, right? You can just either work on moving the hips forward and backward, right? See how that goes. If you're feeling a little bit more open, you can really shift the hips forward like you're trying to push into a wall. And then if you feel okay there, you can start to rotate the chest open. To get a little bit deeper, you can even reach the left arm up towards the sky. Let's take a deep breath wherever you are. And then exhale, release, seat comes down. We'll go right to the other side. So left hand outside the left ankle, right? We're gonna use that to start to lift our hips any amount. They might not go all the way up and that's okay, right? You can work on moving them forward, backward, change the placement of your hand a little bit, working either here or you could start to open the chest. Hips are going forward and then maybe you start to reach the right arm up and down. Wherever you are, deep breath in. And then exhale, hands down, hips down. Go right back to the other side. So now it's a full breath in, lift your hips any amount, opening the chest. Exhale, the hips down. Left hand steps back, hips go up. Maybe the right arm reaches up and back. Exhale, the hips down. A couple more times. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, we come down. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, we come down. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Last one on the left. Inhale up. And exhale down. Beautiful. Now as we press on, a little bit of core work. Everybody's least favorite. <laughs> Everybody's favorite, least favorite. So we're going to come back to our hands and knees tabletop. Hands a little bit in front of the shoulders. Toes tucked, nice and simple. We're going to lift the knees up one inch off the ground. What a difference an inch makes. Right, imagine hugging your knees towards your wrist, your wrist towards your knees. Only here for a little bit, about 15 more seconds. Let's see if we can hold together. My legs are on fire already. Pull the belly in. You can even make it a little bit of cat pose, round your back, chin to chest, holding here. About another five, four, three, two, one. And release. I did squats yesterday. My quads are feeling it. Woo! All right. Shall we press on? Hands and knees. Tabletop position. From here, nice and easy. Going to tuck our toes, lift our knees up an inch, but this time we're going to step all the way back to downward facing dog. Maybe your first down dog of the day. You could bend the knees one at a time. I like to kind of almost salsa my hips, so kind of turning the hips as I bend one knee, turning my hips as I bend the other knee. So if I bend my left knee, I turn my hips and chest to the right. And if I bend my right knee, I turn my hips and chest to the left. Plenty more time for movement here. If you're feeling like it's too much in your hands and wrists, you could shift forward a plank. All right, great place to adjust your stance. Make sure you have a nice steady base. And then that's how you measure to go back to downward facing dog. All right, then holding here for just a moment, let's all meet for a breath together. And then with your exhale, lower your knees back down to that one inch off the ground spot. With the hips back, push the arms, push the arms. And then you're gonna step your right foot right outside your right hand, so kind of a wide lunge. From here, right foot plants down strong, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Right, holding here a little harder, strong right foot more than your left hand, or you can lower the back knee down, especially if that helps you to sink your hips, right? We're really going for that stretch by sinking our hips down and starting to open the right knee out. And then right arm can be up. Feeling good, you can pull your belly in, maybe even rotate your chest further open. So stretching the back and also the outside of your right hip and then just holding wherever you are. Take a couple deep breaths here. 
And if your back knee was up, let's start to lower it down. We're gonna bring both of our hands down inside of our right foot, and then start to straighten your right leg any amount, sitting back into a variation of half split. So I like to keep my right leg out to the side. I notice I get a deeper stretch in the inner hamstring, which for me and for most of us is the tighter part of our hamstring. Right, you're not stuck here. You can work your hips a little side to side. You can play with pointing your right toes forward and then flexing them back. That'll get you a little deeper into the hamstring. Just holding here for a couple more cycles of breath. One more good deep breath in. Then as you're ready, bend the right knee. Hands usually have to step forward a little bit to find the right stance. Right foot steps back. We're back to downward facing dog. Optional, you could rest in child's pose for a moment or you could come to plank. Maybe out of chaturanga, bending the elbows. Flick the feet, upward facing dog or maybe low cobra. Let's all come back to child's pose. If you're already there, we'll meet you there. Together for a full breath in. And a full breath out. Rising forward, down dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips to the sky. Through an exhale, bend your knees almost all the way down. Kind of like, like, like to let my hips sink back and then step left foot outside left hand left arm up to the side so again the hips are dragging down and forward left arm reaches up to the sky Hips dragging down and forward, left arm reaches up to the sky. Whether your back knee is down or up, pushing down through your left foot and feel that energy go all the way up through your left fingertips. If you're pulling the belly in and really rotating open, not too far, just holding where you feel your deepest stretch. Just take one breath in together. And then exhale, hands down. Hands come down and then sit the hips back. So we're back to that halfway split. Right again, you're not stuck here. You can move the hips from side to side. Come on. the hips from side to side. Bowl has joined us for this one. You point the left toes forward and backward. Wherever you are holding here together for one more breath in. One more breath out as you bend the front knee. Watch out for crossing puppies. Hands come down, excuse me. Downward facing dog. So you're not stuck here. Left leg straight, can move the hips from side to side. You can 
halfway and flex the left toe. And if you happen to lock into that stretch, that feels perfect. Just letting the hips sit back. You can roll it ahead a bit. Just take two cycles of breath wherever you're at. At the bottom of an exhale, left knee bends. We'll plant the hands back down. So I'm stepping back, downward facing dog. Option to go to child's pose or back to plank. Plank for chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Let's all meet back in child's pose. Release one full breath in. Full breath out. And then stepping the right hand back, half camel. Hips go up and forward, heart lifts up to the sky. Hips drop back, left hand sweeps back. Hips go up and forward, right arm reaches up to the sky. And then hips come down and back. So now we're gonna start to integrate this entire sequencing into a flow. Take it at your own pace, take rest when you need to. Um, but we'll start to move with our breath a little bit. So coming back to hands and knees, right foot steps out to the side, heart lifts, chin lifts. Through the exhale, chin to chest, round and tap. As you rise up, right leg back, left arm forward, full breath in. Elbow to knee and squeeze. Inhale, lengthen all the way out. Hands down, bend the elbows. Inhale, press up. Exhale, release. Left foot steps out. Heart lifts, chin lifts. Chin to chest, round and tap through the exhale. Rise up, left leg back, right arm forward. Elbow to knee, get that good squeeze to the center. Inhale, lengthen all the way out. Hands down, bend the elbows. Inhale, push up. Exhale, release, sit back. All right, so now that we've got the basic movement pattern down, I'm um, gonna give you some ways to start to incorporate this into the entire flow. I'll uh, give you a couple extra little movements here and there, a couple for strength, a couple for stretch um, that you can start to incorporate, but now is the chance where we can really start to shut our mind off to move with our breath, you can move faster than me, make it a little bit more cardiovascular, you can move a little slower, make it a little more strengthening, or just go off on your own and do your own thing. So coming back to our hands and knees, step our right foot out to the side, lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round your back, tap your seat to your heel. Then as you rise up, right leg back, left arm forward, full breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee and squeeze. Inhale, the left arm will straighten. Exhale, the left hand down, bend the elbows. Inhale, press the floor away. Now we're going to tuck our left toes and lift all the way up to a three-legged down dog. Bending your right knee, you can either open your hip or come all the way over feels just like that camel pose, lift your hips and open your heart towards the sky. Full breath in, exhale the hands down, right leg lifts up, and then you're gonna step outside your right hand. Right arm up to the sky, full breath in, exhale the hand down. Right leg straightens on an inhale, and exhale bend. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. And then option to lower to chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And then exhale seat to heels. Let's all press back and meet in child's pose. Full breath in. Full breath out. As you rise up, left foot steps out. Lift your heart, lift your chin. Exhale, chin to chest, 
seat towards you. Rising up, left leg back, right arm forward. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, straighten all the way out. Right hand down, exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, press the floor away. Now tuck the right toes, lift up, three-legged down dog. Bend your left knee, open your hip, or flip your dog. Hips go up, heart lifts open. Hands come down, left leg up. Step the left foot outside. Left arm up on an inhale. Down on an exhale. Left leg straightens, inhale. Exhale to bend. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Option to go to child's pose or forward to plank. And flowing vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Let's all meet back in child's pose, at least one breath in. One breath out. Maybe two. As you rise up, right leg steps out. Lift your heart, lift your chin. Chin to chest, round your back, seat towards you. Rising up, right leg back, left arm forward. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen all the way out. Place the left hand down, bend those elbows. Inhale, press up, tuck left toes, rise up, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, open or flip. Hips up, chest up. Exhale the hands down, right leg to the sky. Step outside the right foot, right arm goes up as you breathe in. Exhale the hands down, right leg straighten. Exhale it bend, step back, downward facing dog, child's pose, or plank, and chaturanga. Upward facing dog, it's all me back in child's pose, full breath in, and full breath out. As you rise up, left leg steps out. Lift your heart, lift your chin. Chin to chest, round the back and tap. Rising up nice and smooth, left leg back, right arm forward. Elbow to knee, really squeeze, focus. Inhale to lengthen. Hands down, bend those elbows. Push up, inhale, tuck the right toes, lift up, three-legged, bend the left knee, open or flip, hips up, chest up, hands come down, left leg high, step outside the left hand, left arm up, full breath in, hands come down on the exhale, left leg straightens, inhale, Exhale, bend, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward if you're coming to plank. Best one yet, chaturanga. Upward facing dog and child's pose. Option to sit back in child's pose or sitting up tall. Hands can come to the lap or to heart center. Just take a moment, notice the breath. Without judgment, just notice what's happening with the breath. 
the breath bring you back to the present moment. One more time around. This time I'm going to add in the last couple little variations of things you can sprinkle in. Again, you can keep practicing this. You can move to some salutations, or this could be your whole practice, right? Full body movements, full body. Let's come back to hands and knees. Right leg steps out, lift the heart, lift the chin. Chin to chest, tap the seat back. Rising up, right leg back, left arm forward. Little different this time, we're gonna bend the right knee, reach back with your left hand. Right, if you're just searching for that foot, it's okay. Keep bending the back knee, see if you can find it. If you've got it, try to lift the right knee and then push into your hand. Harder still, you can lift your chest, maybe look forward and push with that right foot. Woo, one good breath here. With control, release, reach long, and then elbow to knee. Inhale to lengthen. Hands down, bend the elbows. All the way up to three-legged dog, push. Tuck the left toes, rise up. Bend the knee, open or flip. Hips up, chest up. Exhale the hands down, right leg lifts, inhale, step, exhale, right arm up, inhale, hands down, exhale, right leg straightens, inhale, exhale the bend, right leg steps back, either child's pose or plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Let's all meet in child's pose. At least one full cycle of breath to reset. As we rise up, left foot steps out. Heart lifts, chin lifts. Chin to chest, round the back and seat towards knee. As you rise up, left leg back, right arm forward. Here's where we switch. Bend the left knee, reach back, try to bind. Right? If you're working to capture it, don't worry. If you've got it, lift your left knee, push into your hand, try to lift your chest and look forward. Be where you can be. Holding for a breath in. When you exhale, release with control. Elbow to knee and squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hand down, bend those elbows. Push, inhale. Tuck the toes, rise up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up or flip. Hips up, chest up. Hands come down, left leg all the way back up, all the way. Left foot steps out, side left hand, left arm up to the sky. Exhale the hands down, left leg straightens, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, step back, down dog. Child's pose or back to plank. Last one here, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And child's pose. Child's pose, we're coming to sit back. Eyes closed. And watch the breath. So full disclosure, the video stopped three times <laughs> while he was doing this. 
had some dogs barking, so I got a good long practice out of this, but the video itself should be about 35 to 40 minutes. Again, just building movement patterns, right? Things that feel good in the body, things that you can go back to. This uh, sequence has a twist, right? It has a hip opener, has a lot of big hamstring stretching. And then when we add the camels and then the flipping of the dog, we get some back bends, we get some strength in our hands, some chaturangas, those are all optional. Um, the bow pose where we bend the knee and reach back and bind, um, all really beautiful additions. Um, but hopefully this is either a good prerequisite to your practice. Maybe it's um, your entire practice some days. I love this movement practice. It's just its own thing. Um, but it really can fit in anywhere in your practice. So try it out. Let me know what you think. You can drop me comments, likes down below. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for practicing. Namaste.